Candace, if you believe in wrestling, wrestling will believe in you. <laughs> what? Hello everyone, welcome back to the storage facility. <laughs> Instead of the shed, I guess. Uh, we are, this is Thursday. Now, I popped a bunch of these open to, um, when I, the other day when I was bringing some stuff out. You can see, we have put quite the dent in the, in the action figures, um, like maybe a week worth, weeks worth, if that left of lifting those. Had these totes already in here, in here, and then we have the totes that we just brought from my guy right here. And uh, the reason, the main reason we're here though, is to well to secure this stuff, but also. Uh, we're doing our we're doing our inventory today of shipping supplies. So we have some shipping supplies here, and we need to know exactly what we have in here. All right. So what you got here, Candace, for your inventory so far? Um, box resizer, poly bags. Is okay. What I'm calling those. Are you calling number zero poly mm -hmm. bags? If, you want. if I read number zero, I would not know what that meant. <laughs> okay. That's the size of those, by the way. 325 of those. Okay. Four rolls of bubble wrap. 75 number seven boxes. Mm -hmm. Yep. One pack of packing paper. Yep. 150 10 by 7 by 4. Yep. And 50 12 10 4. Okay, good. And we have some more in another unit we need to bring over here now. Okay, so we brought uh, brought some of these, these, these. These are these are the ones I used to ship mugs in. We were selling the mugs coffee mugs so i'm not going to be reordering those she's not keeping track of them we don't really use them honestly anymore but i'm keeping them on hand just in case um and then the only other box we had in the other unit six four fours 125 of those so now we'll go to we go back to the shed and we have to account the or count other boxes that we have there too Yep, so uh, boxes, tape, uh, yeah. what else? Bubble mailers. Copy paper, stickers, Ooh. box knives. Oh my gosh. Everything. That's what you're going to be doing, huh? Staples. I'm going to count each individual staple. Really? <laughs> that's a paper good, clips. It's a good use of our time. <laughs> I do think it's a good idea to track everything, like all the other stuff, that, like the box sizers. Box sizers stickers i guess yeah we need to know like when we're down to we're like getting down low. 100 left or something or 200 yeah. left so good idea because i'm tired of being surprised all the time by this stuff oh i'm out ah, i freak out every day yeah every day we're just freaking out well you know maybe every week I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy okay we're gonna go back to the shed pull some orders and Candace is going to be inventory on while I'm doing that. Okay, we are back in the shed, and Candace, it's been a weird day today. Candace is, she's going to finish off the giraffes first, which, giraffes. Giraffes. She's got to do six more. There's actually one down here that needs to get deleted. Then we'll be at 20, and these will go up tomorrow for Friday. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to pull orders for stuff that is going out tomorrow. Okay, first thing I'm going to pull, I listed these yesterday. These McDonald's NBA cards. I have 256 total. And what I did, I listed first, I listed a lot of 16. And then this is 240 or 12 lots of 20 here. And guess what? They all sold, which is awesome. I had notes from Michael, Sam, Alexander, and Josh who bought some of these. So thank y'all very much. Uh, hope y'all find some good cards in these. I'm going to get these packed now. All right, here they all are. That's all those cards right there going out. Ten total packages. Uh, one and two. I wanted to mention Sam's channel real quick. Uh, who bought some it's eclectic Sam right here and he sells I've only glanced I just subscribed I'll hit the bell too 
I only glanced um, like at one video so far and uh, he sells a lot of toys it looks like I see like a bunch of models in this video so if you like looks like he sells a lot of the same kind of stuff that I'm selling right now honestly uh, and probably I'm sure some random stuff too but let's see what oh, it was even some clothing small flight security police jacket okay so yeah go give uh go give sam a look it looks like he has some cool stuff i was actually glancing at his latest video check out this sale how good fidget spinners four of them for 80 bucks plus shipping of course the reason is um roman atwood smile more complete set of fidget spinners so if you're familiar roman atwood's a big youtuber uh, of course, so if you're familiar with him, that's a cool sale right there. I need to watch the video and hear the story about how Sam came by a full set of those fidget spinners. I also noticed in between the one that I, the video I just watched in this video, it looks like Sam shaved about 10 pounds of beard off. <laughs> Sold a pack of DVD ROMs, DVD minus R's. Daniel bought Ram Man from 8 Bravo with his little card there, which is cool. And he bought Leech right here with, looks like he has an accessory, a little bow, bow, uh, crossbow thing or whatever. And I guarantee you he does suck because uh, Candace stuck him to the shed flip sign over there the other day. So he certainly sucks, guaranteed. There's a button on the back to help to him help stick, suck, yeah. to, to make him suck more. Oh, anyway, thank you very much, Daniel. Really appreciate it. Sold a card, card number 51, which is, I hope I got, the, yeah, I think I got the right binder here. F8, and yes, I did buy, or I did get, a bunch of top loaders and sleeves. Jason bought Natalia from Seven Bravo, a little wrestling figure. I'm thinking she's probably way over here. Oh my god, these guys are falling down. That's my fault. I probably shouldn't have positioned them like this. Are you Natalia? I have to admit. Yeah, Natalia. Thank you very much, Jason. Hope you like Natalia. Um, I have to admit, I did, Candace, I watched some wrestling last night. Oh my gosh. What? How was it? It was actually pretty interesting. You know why I watched it? Why? Shaq was wrestling. What? Yeah, Shaq was. This in, was recent? Yeah, I think it happened yesterday. He was actually in a tag team match. Is that why they were talking about him not being in shape on that, what you were watching the other day? Was that him? No, that was Drew Brees. Never mind. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I watched uh, I watched Shaq. I don't know if it was real or not. No. Shaq got thrown. He would not risk getting hurt. Shaq got thrown. He was standing like on the edge of the ring. He got thrown backwards. And then he fell onto two folding tables that happened to be right behind where he was standing. Did they break? Oh yeah. Yeah, breakaway tables. Yeah, they broke. They broke, but he landed hard. And then he um did he was he able to stand up? No, he was unconscious. That was the scary part. Whenever the uh they ended the video or that I watched, he they they took him in a stretcher out of that out of the place. He was unconscious. You think that was real? Oh yeah, absolutely. Is it on the news today? Yeah, yeah, Shaq Shaq got knocked out. He's like, I believe it. I believe it. You believe wrestling? Do you believe it? Do you believe in wrestling? No. If you believe in wrestling, look, all these figures have all these little tables and stuff that fit together so they can break away. But can't Candace, if you believe in wrestling, wrestling will believe in you. <laughs> what? And next up is an order from Craig, also known as Krog, also known from Uncle Krog. He bought these four books here. And yeah, thank you very much, 
croc. Lydia bought a, an exploding ghost rider, A, with ex featuring exploding torso. A? A? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there was some, there's a joke I, I saw online the other day. Oh, the Canadians really brought their A game. <laughs> Oh man, they're eh, 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 eh. Uh, I don't know, I'm not saying that right. Anyways, thank you very much, Lydia. I really appreciate the uh, appreciate the business. Hope you like the fig. I listed two of these cars that are made in Germany. And these little plastic cube things. And John G and Callie, he bought both of them. Thank you very much, John. So Michael bought everything this is the new drawer we started yesterday uh boba fett he bought everything in this drawer except for this part right here so that was really easy all i had to do was count was pull everything out of the drawer except that one active item i still had left that's all right here <laughs> so thank you very much michael really appreciate it Lori bought a dilophosaurus she bought a few things actually but one of them was this Yep, oh, it says it on the bottom. Dilophosaurus Schleich from 2003. Then she bought this land speeder from 10 Delta. And she got this Wonder Woman from 7 Bravo. Thank you very much, Lori. Sold a Lance Storm. That's not him. I bet it's this guy right here. From 7 Bravo. Yes, this is him. Then Colton bought three decks of these Marvel trading card game things. Okay, so he got a Black Order. I know that. He got a Sinister Syndicate. And he got one more. Oh, he got a Villains. That's right. One of these right here. So thank you very much, Colton. I was glad to see this sell today. This is from the Smalls drawer. It's one of these, not made by McDonald's, I don't think. It's these Ronald McDonald things. You can see it in the photo there. I'm just making sure I have the right one. All right, got everything packed right here and here. And uh, we, did do, we did do a rundown real fast of um, all of our packing supplies and Candace is doing a real good job here. Why don't you show them what you've done here? Okay, so first off, I like to use Google Docs because I can pull it up with my phone anywhere. Um, like if we're at storage and I need to, to update this or look at it, um, it's great because you can access it through any device through your Google login. Um, and I can also share it with Lonnie and give him the ability to edit it so um, he can also do that. Okay, so what we have is the item, so like six by six, four by four box and where it's purchased from. Um, this is the quantity we have on hand. Now, this is what we have in the shed. If it's in parentheses, that's in storage. So we actually have 250 total of these boxes here. And then when we get down to 25, that's when I know we're, we need to order more. And then now I'm going through and putting all the links of where we buy them from. So um, all I have to do is click on the link and it brings me to where I need to order. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's gonna simplify things a lot. Yeah, I wanna do a, a standalone video because I've been asked about this a bunch uh, to do like a shipping supply video and I can pull it all from this this list here. Yep. Um, and so Candace is going to do an inventory every Thursday using that spreadsheet and uh then we'll we should we should like not ever run out of stuff again so that's the plan anyways so that is going to work out really well like much better like the way i've done it in the past oh i'll know when to reorder and then i put in my last roll of labels and i forget about it like into the dymo and I forget, or I use my last, I put my last roll of tape in, and then um, I'm like, oh no, and then I order, and then I'm hoping it makes it in time, and then sometimes I have to go run to Walmart and buy buy a few rolls or something like that. 
that's a that's like super expensive it's a waste of time and it's a pain in the butt uh, especially with bubble wrap there's some things that are more important than others of course bubble wraps important number seven boxes are important uh, eight by six by fours are important bubble mailers are important some of those are like really really important some other ones aren't so important shoe boxes um, things like that their regional a's aren't that that crucial the six by four by fours aren't real crucial because i could always just use an eight by six by four instead but this is gonna really uh take a lot of stress away and streamline everything so i'm very this is something that's been we've been meaning to do for a while and this process here man this is that's really neat the way you're doing that I like how you're naming the links too, so it's not a big mess over there. Yeah. Um, but this process was a result of our one of our monthly meetings that we have at the beginning of every month. So I don't know why. that's going to be it for this one. Uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll see y'all again soon. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Bye.